Joining us now, the U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine, currently in Poland, Christina Kavin. Ambassador, we thank you for your time at this critical moment in this conflict. Happy to be here. Thank you. I want to start with this horrific bombing that we've seen today of the hospital and maternity ward. Uh, it's being described as colossal. President Zelensky calling it atrocity. And it happened during what is supposed to be a ceasefire where civilians there in Ukraine are escaping safely. Your reaction to what we're seeing? Well, unfortunately, this is what we've seen from Russia uh, since the conflict began. That is that Russia is attacking a country that presented no threat to it, is uh, going after civilians as well as military, and is indiscriminately hitting uh, targets such as this uh, maternity hospital and seems to have no uh, concern for civilian life or children or uh, any residents of Ukraine. Ambassador, do you believe Russia is committing war crimes in these acts? Well, I'm not a lawyer and I know these things are very legalistic, but let's just say that hitting civilians, targeting civilians is a war crime. And I think as you see in the hospital today, uh, I'll let you draw your own conclusions, but certainly it seems to me that civilians are being hit. What consequences should President Putin face short of what is already being done in terms of sh sanctions? President Putin is uh, a pariah right now on the world stage. He's on league, he's in league with North Korea, Syria, uh, Belarus, and other countries that basically are global pariahs. And he has put himself in this category. So he deserves to be treated as any global pariah is treated uh, in all aspects, economic, political, and uh, in any other part of the world stage. Ambassador, despite the stiff sanctions that you're talking about, he has not been deterred yet. The invasion continues. It is a bloody battle and it's getting worse. What do you believe are the necessary steps now at this point to prevent further escalation? Well, the steps are that President Putin needs to stop. Uh, he is committing he is committing actions that, frankly, no country should be allowed to, to uh, commit. Europe has made it very clear. And now the rest of the world needs to make sure that they also make it, make, need to make it clear that what President Putin is doing is not acceptable on the global stage. And every world leader needs to come out uh, against what President Putin is doing. I hear what you're saying. Much of this, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be changing his course. Two weeks ago tonight, we all watched Linda Thomas Greenfield, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., address the U.N. Security Council, that rare emergency meeting at the same time that President Putin and Russia began to invade. I want to play a portion for you and also for people at home of what she said in that critical moment. Let us together show Russia that it is isolated and alone in its aggressive actions. Let us stand fully behind the principles of sovereignty, political independence, and territorial integrity for Ukraine and for all member states. Ambassador, 14 days into this, has Ukraine received the best of the world's support in what she said there to defend its sovereignty and independence? I think the world is behind Ukraine. I mean, it's clear. The United States has not only, we've been pursuing two tracks. We've been pursuing the sanctions track, which has basically forced uh, Russia's stock market to collapse. The ruble is collapsing. Russia's banks are in a very precarious state. Russians can no longer use Visa and MasterCard in their own country. Uh, so all of those have been happening at the same time that we have been helping Ukraine to fight their battle through both humanitarian and military assistance. The world has joined us. Uh, Europe has really stepped up and also done significant sanctions and countries who never before had helped uh, with uh, security assistance or defense assistance have now stepped up to do that. So I think the world now recognizes what Russia is up to. Uh, the question is now, will President Putin step back or will he make his country a global pariah for decades to come? And who that's going to hurt is the Russian people. 
President Putin is basically undermining his own people. He's causing his people to go back in time 30, 40, 50 years to a time when they have to wait in line for bread, a time when they have to wait in line to get money out of the bank because uh, the country is a pariah. Ambassador Kaveen, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.